Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of Seek on the Speed 252. I want to thank you for pushing that play button. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. As you can see at the bottom, you see my Facebook, my Instagram, and my YouTube handle, which is at the top, Seek on the Speed 252. I did get my trunk fixed on the warranty, which is very grateful, but I had followers leave comments on the channel and ask me, what did I truly think of the Acura NXX? Hi everyone, I want to thank you for joining me again today back on the channel. Um, a few followers left me comments in the section when I made a video about the NXX about me test driving it and a few of them asked me, you know, what are the things I actually loved about the car and what are some things that I actually didn't like about the car. So I want to make this video about things that I actually did like about the car because, you know, I'm a car person. I love all cars regardless of what type of car it is. Every car serves a purpose, right? Whether it gets you from point A to point B very slowly or very fast but at the end of the day all cars have a, uh, a meaning behind it and don't get me wrong the nxx was a super super nice car i enjoy everything about it from the start to the finish um but once again there are some things i didn't like about the acura's nxx so i want to make this video because i have a couple of people the channel who's actually considering buying an acura's nsx or they currently have one as well and so with that being said i want to bring out some information that i do like about the acura nxx I'm also planning to do another giveaway sometime in the near future, um, so do definitely stick around for that because I look forward to you know sharing some more products and things like that as the new year comes along. So the number one thing that I did like about Acura NSX is the all-wheel drive. This was my first time ever in my entire life driving a car that was an all-wheel drive, and it made a complete difference. Now I will say, you know, I'm a track person. I love going to the track. I have read up on some things online and also heard from my friend Mike that most people that go to the track do not like all-wheel drive cars. So, you know, regarding me, I am a car enthusiast. I enjoy driving cars regardless of what type of car it is. But at the end of the day, that all-wheel drive was super nice. I mean, it, it, just, it just felt really great to be in a car that you actually felt all the wheels turning. I mean, you can literally feel it within the steering wheel. And so it was just an amazing feeling. Um, I don't know how many of you actually have all-wheel drive cars. What do you think about your all-wheel drive cars? Will you go back to a, a real-wheel drive or a front-wheel drive car? You know, super Ruth come with the all-wheel drive car. I know a lot of us have been talking about the C8 Miniature Corvette and how we hope that come, you know, with an all-wheel drive. And I don't think they're going to have an all-wheel drive in the, the base model C8 Miniature Corvette. It'll be a nice feature, but who knows? I mean, the all-wheel drive is one of those things where it will cost a little bit more money if they put it in C8, but at the end of the day, that all-wheel drive in the Acura NXX was something else. Trust me, believe me. If you have not test drove a minute in a car that's all-wheel drive, um, you definitely want to do so. Here's a question for you. Does any of your current cars right now have an all-wheel drive in it? So do you like it? Is there anything you don't like about your all-wheel drive? The second thing I want to talk about that I actually loved about this car, which stood out to me about this car as soon as I saw it, is the color. This color to me... Reminds me of my color of my Corvette when I first bought it. Now, I will say I think the color of this Acura NSA is a little darker than when I bought my C7 Grand Sport, but it definitely reminds me of that color. That color to me looks rare. You really don't, I don't personally see that color that much. I don't know if you all do, but I personally don't see that color that much. I do believe if you was driving this car about in any era, this car would totally stand out just because it's a mid-engine outlook and the color. This color is it's, it's a dark blue that's really deep. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it um, according to Acura, based off the color, color code, or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, this color was just awesome. I literally, when I took it for a test drive, and I took it into a couple of neighborhoods, and then I took it on the street for a little bit, it turned everybody head because the color is just something else. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then you got the color along with the mid engine sound that goes with it. Ah, oh, man, it just is unbelievable feeling. It was an unbelievable experience driving this car. Like I said before, you haven't had opportunity to drive a mid engine car. Trust me, you will want to. Um, if you have a friend that has a mid-engine car, you definitely want to get behind the wheel of those things because it is something to actually say about a mid-engine car. Now, most of us drive probably front-wheel cars, and there's not that many, I guess, rear, rear engine cars out there that you know we drive on an everyday basis. But I will tell you this. This Acura NSX mid-engine was definitely great to drive, and this color was something to look at. I could imagine having a color car like this in my garage and be like, wow. That color definitely stands out because I felt that same way about my um, C7 Corvette Grand Sport. So here's my thing. 
what is a favorite color of yours that you would love in a car? Um, is your current car your favorite color now? Or if you had a car, what would be your choice of color? So the third thing I want to point out about this car, which is probably obvious to a lot of us if you've actually seen the Acura NSX in person, is just the overall look. Now, like I said before, I'm a car enthusiast. Um, most people in the world, they, they do love cars, and I feel like this car definitely has a certain look to it that you have to, to pretty much talk about and enjoy. Um, for instance, take a look at this body style. Now, a lot of people said that the C8 Miniature Corvette looks like a Acura NXX in, in a way, based off the spy shots and photos that we have seen. And so far, of the renderings I've seen in the uh, C8 Miniature Corvette, I actually like the way it looks. And based off this Acura NSX, I love the way it looks. It looks great. Look at the look at the tail end of it. Look at the front engine of it. Look at the wheels. Like it all looks great to me. And you can see on the side of this car, you won't be able to see it that much, but you can see like the side scoop to where it sucks in all the air that's go to the rear wheel as well. And I think this car overall looks amazing. Like this, it has a side skirt. Now the side skirt is just not as big as like the ones on the you know C7 Corvette. And it may not be that big on the C8 Minute Corvette either, but the side skirt on this car looks, you know, a decent size and it fits well with the car. I think Acura did an awesome job with this car. Um, even when, when the, um, the guy from the dealership came in, you know, opened up the doors and the door handles popped out. I think it was something different. Um, I have seen that happen on the Tesla before and that might be something that the new car world is actually going to. And I'll admit, I do like the handles on a C7 Corvette too, because it's not a handle that actually comes out. You just kind of stick your thing, two fingers behind and you kind of pop it open, which I feel like when the handle pops out on Acura NSX, the first thing I thought about that came to my mind was, how often can I pull on this before this actually starts to break? At least with the C7 Corvette, you can just tap your two fingers behind it, push to open the door, unlock. But at the end of the day, it's definitely a unique feature. Like I said, this car turned lots of heads when I was driving it, so it definitely was great overall. Um, the, just the body style was just a freaking phenomenal car. And I'm sure if you've seen this car in person, you would probably appreciate how well this car was designed as well by Acura. So based off this picture that you see in front of you, or if you've seen an Acura NSX in person, what do you like about this car overall? So the fourth thing that I like about this car is the overall look of this mirror right here. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm really kidding. But the fourth thing I do like about this car is the overall how it drives. Now, the handling of this car is freaking great. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, it is an all-wheel drive, so it may also have something to do with it. But I also truly believe that this car is just handled really great because of the mid-engine platform. Now, I do have a C7 Corvette, as you all know, that's part of the channel, if you are new to the channel. Um, I do have a C7 Corvette, and I think my C7 Corvette handles like a dream, but I'm going to admit, and my boy Mike is going to say something about it when he watches this video, that handling this NXS is just a dream to drive. Like, when I took this car around the curb, let me remind you, it was probably like maybe 40 degrees out. When I punched this car around a curb, it stuck to the curb so well with that type of how cold it was. If I do that with my C7 Corvette, you're bound to have your car kind of go skirt skirt. It's kind of going to go wobble from side to side. So uh, please excuse my alarm there. And um, at the end of the day, this Acura NSX drove super well. I mean, it was phenomenal. And I can tell you this. It was a dream to drive. Like once again, like the all-wheel drive and how well it handled around that curb just shocked me so much. And if I was in the market for this car, that would be one of the things that I would point out to a lot of people that it stuck to a curb like no other. And um, yeah, that's just something I wish my C7 Corvette had was an all-wheel drive um, because that was definitely great to have. And you know, here's a question for you all: Have you ever drove an all-wheel drive that stuck to the curb like that? Now, the last thing I want to talk about this car that I truly appreciate, that I hope that I can have someday, is honestly what we've been talking about so long about the C8 mid-engine Corvette, is that being able to own a mid-engine car. Now, I didn't think much of this as a kid, and it really didn't cross my mind. And, you know, growing up, I've always been driving a front-engine car. And when you think of a mid-engine car, you kind of think of a, you know, a sports car or an exotic car or a supercar, something of that sort. And I don't know where you want to put this NSX as. Do you want to put in an exotic car? Because you really don't see many of them. But I think it's also due to the price point and how it came out too late and how expensive it was. Or do you want to put the Acura X as in a rare category because, you know, it's just a rare car and they don't make too many of them. At the end of the day, being able to drive a managing car was one of the best feelings I've ever had. Um, the mid engine just sounded phenomenal. Now, I know a lot of people was like, you know, I don't want the engine behind me because it's going to be loud. But I'm trust me when I tell you this, the engine sounded no different whether it was in the front or whether it was behind you. They did a great job of zoning out the, the sound of the engine within the cockpit, within the inside of the car. 
um, compared to, you know, having it behind you. And I know a lot of people who currently own C7 Corvettes, own Corvettes in, in the past, are currently not in agreement with GM switching over to a mini engine platform. But, you know, this is from my experience. This is my personal opinion. Opinion. You all may have driven a mini engine car before and just don't like them. But I personally would love to own a mini engine car. I would love to have one on the channel for you all. So when I go to events, you all can take a look at it and, and things like that. And I can tell you one thing. This mini engine car, this platform was great. So I'm, I'm excited to what GM has in store for the C mini engine Corvette. Once again, I know some people don't like the mini engine Corvette and they're not, you know, happy about this car coming out. But, you know, driving this and that and it says just gave me a kind of hopes of being able to wanting to have a mini engine car because this Acura was kind of priced pretty high. And I'm hoping that Chevrolet can actually, you know, tap into the car world with the affordable mini engine car for most of us. Because that's, you know, the dream of owning a Corvette. And that's been their model, I mean, these many years. So let's hope that's the case. But at the end of the day, having a mini engine car was just freaking great and being able to drive one was freaking great. So here's my question to y'all. Would you love to own a mini engine car or would you prefer to stick with a front engine car? Now, there are more things that I do like about this car, but those are the five things that stood out the most. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for joining the channel today. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I would love to have you part of the community. Um, I will catch you in the episode of Signal Speed 252. And once again, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you again.